Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Shania and today's video is going to be on this star boy inspired makeup look. Um, I was inspired by the star boy song from The Weeknd, you know, there's stars and stuff, but I did my own little neon wing here, you know, it's looking cute, it's looking, it's looking cool. Um, this look was super, super requested to do, so I thought I would film it for you guys. And yeah, if you guys want to know how to get this look, keep on watching. So I'm going to be starting off by priming my eyelids with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. The first palette I'm going to be going into is my Morphe 35O palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade... It's not named, obviously, but it's this orange shade right here, and that's going to be our transition shade today. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to be taking is called Bloody Mary from Suva Beauty. Mine, mine broke, so I have it in here <laughs> but i'm still gonna use it because it's, it's you know it's still usable so i'm gonna use this today and this is gonna be like the main popping color for this look because it's super neon and vibrant and i love it so much you guys really need it now with a more flat brush i'm gonna take that same shade i'm gonna pat it all over my lid Now on a smaller, more detailed brush, I'm going to be picking up that same shade mixed with the shade Hookah from Suva Beauty and a little bit of black eyeshadow just to deepen up the lower lash line, not the lower lash line, the lash line and just a little bit on the outer corner just to give this look a little bit more depth. Okay, now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna be doing the neon liner. So I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal True Match concealer and it's in the shade Light. And I like to use concealer because it gives me a little bit more, a little more flexible to use. Because if I use like an eye base, sometimes it's a little bit drying. So it makes the lines a little bit cracked and like not smooth enough for me. So I like to use concealer. And this part is a little bit tricky, so I'm gonna try my best my best to tell you guys how to do this so i'm just going to show you guys a little visual here so i did it on this eye already and all i did it's very similar to the pink neon heart that i did but it's just without the heart um it's a little bit simpler than that honestly but all i did was i started out like i was drawing a wing just like this you know but i didn't bring the wing all the way in obviously so i drew a little arrow not really like an arrow but you know what I mean and then um, I stopped right there and then I drew another wing and I stopped right there and then I drew a line that's going across my crease and this is like a little tip for anyone with hooded eyelids as you guys know I have hooded eyelids so I like to draw the line a bit above my crease so that you guys can see the artwork when my eyes are open and closed so I drew it above my crease so you guys can see everything and I connected it to the little arrow that we put out right here. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I do and how I do it and yeah, just watch. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna take a brush with some white eyeshadow and set that concealer in place. Totally okay if you mess up on this step because we're just gonna go over and fix it once again because we have to do the neon effect. So it's okay if you mess up on this part. Just remember to take your time on this look. No one's rushing you. It's okay if you don't get it on your first try. Just try and try again and you'll get it, I promise you. So now this is gonna look so scary and so crazy, but I'm actually gonna take a blending brush and like go over this with the blending brush. Um, Cause this is gonna help add the orange onto the white, if that makes sense. And we're not messing anything up because we already set the concealer in place. And this concealer literally doesn't move, so I was kind of shocked. Once again, we're going to go over it with the concealer. But we're not going to be doing it, like, so thick like before. We're going to make it kind of a little bit thinner than the line we already have. Set it in place just like before. Now we're gonna go in with more of like a lip brush and then we're gonna add that Bloody Mary. We're gonna outline the white with the Bloody Mary shade just to make it a little bit more vibrant and pop more. Okay, now that the hard part is over, it's time for lashes. And I'm gonna be wearing my Enchanting Lashes from Certify. Since the eyes are almost done, I'm gonna move on to the face. So for primer today, I'm gonna to be using using my Black Up Strobing Primer and my Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser Primer. I'm gonna use the same combination of foundations that I always use now. It's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation and my Maybelline HD Foundation. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm gonna be using the mix that I use in my drag makeup tutorial, and it was the Lorac Porefection Foundation and my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. And the foundation is actually in the shade Tan, and I like the mix of the two because the foundation gives my skin a more like hydrated feel and like a little bit less thick than the LA Girl Concealer, because the LA Girl Concealer is hella thick and hella full coverage so i like the mix of the two because it gives me slay it gives me life it gives me skin you know okay so it's a contour today i'm going to be using my graph tobian hd cream palette and i'm just going to be taking the second to darkest shade to contour with and i'm going to be contouring down my nose my forehead and my cheekbone And I'm going to be setting my under eyes with my RCMA no color powder. 
I went ahead and did my bronzer off camera because I just wanted to get this look a little bit more quicker. So let's move on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to be adding a blue eyeshadow to the lower lash line just to give this look a little bit more popping color. Taking my Juvia's Place The Masquerade palette, taking this blue shade right here on a shader brush, brush and putting that on my lower lash line. I'm going to be adding the stars under my eyes just to give this look an even more amazing look you know we're going full out we're going all out on this look okay and i got these stars from the arts and crafts store you can find them i'm pretty sure anywhere like i don't know but they're just these cute little stars i'm gonna be putting under my eyes to finish off the look and i'm gonna be using my kevin aquan highlighter and it's in the shade sahara golden rose glow Okay, now the last part for this look is lips. I'm going to be taking my NYX Y2K lip liner, my NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade London, and then I'm going to go over with the clear gloss. okay so this is it for today's makeup tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'll be leaving all the products that i used in today's video in the description bar down below you can follow me on twitter instagram and snapchat all at makeup by shania and i'll see you guys in the next video